My name is Chris Malkin. I'm an interventional cardiologist in Leeds in the UK. I'm a high volume TAV implanter and I'm here to talk about the new concept of bioprosthetic valve dysfunction with particular reference to the recent pooled analysis of the core valve SIRTAVI data published last year. Bioprosthetic valve dysfunction is a relatively novel concept, which is a global classification of how well a valve is working at any time point. So a valve can work well for many years, but over time begin to fail because of wear and tear. This would be consistent with what we recognize as structural valve degeneration. And a valve can also fail because of infection or thrombosis. Uh, this is fairly rare and is unpredictable and can occur at any time point. But a valve can also function abnormally, really as soon as it has been implanted into a patient. This would include significant paravalvular leak, typically associated with TAVI valves, but it would also include significant patient prosthetic mismatch. That means a valve that is too small for the patient's body size. And that would be typically associated with small surgical and intraannular TAVI valves. This is called non-structural valve degeneration. The importance of bioprosthetic valve dysfunction is that it causes harm to the patient, can lead to progressive worsening of valve function with abnormal hemodynamics, progressive symptoms, requirement for retreatment, and ultimately a higher risk of death. So we're fortunate to have this pooled analysis of the pivotal core valve and SIRTAVI data. This is around 2000 patients, half going to surgery, half TAVI, average age 81. They were mostly male with an SCS score of five. The basic primary outpoint was that at five years, the rate of bioprosthetic valve dysfunction was 14.2% for SAVA and about half that, 7.8% for TAVI. So at five years, we see a higher rate of bioprosthetic valve dysfunction in the surgical arm compared to TAVI. It's important to look at the breakdown of this. The rates of infection and thrombosis were low and similar for TAVI and for surgery. The rate of structural valve degeneration, that's the valve wearing out with time, was twice that in the surgical arm compared to TAVI. But the rate of non-structural valve degeneration was three times the rate with SAVA. This was driven by much higher rates of patient prosthetic mismatch in the surgical arm that dominated the slightly higher rate of paravalvular leak in the TAVI arm. This effect of patient prosthetic mismatch and BVD was much higher in patients with small annuli. You can see here that the rates of BVD in the surgical arm are nearly 20% at five years, whereas just under 9% at five years in the TAVI arm. These are not just dry outcomes, this is important data. Bioprosthetic valve dysfunction is significantly associated with poor outcomes. Heart failure, rehospitalization, cardiac death, and all cause mortality. And the overall effect of any bioprosthetic valve dysfunction confers one and a half times risk for all cause mortality at five years. These data seem to show that TAVI with a self-expanding platform confers a lower risk of bioprosthetic valve dysfunction compared to surgery. Well, the Evolute valve has this great data that we have just been describing, and some of this is just not down to chance. The superannular design means that there is a greater effective orifice area. So the risk of patient prosthetic mismatch that is driving much of the bioprosthetic valve dysfunction in other platforms is very low with the Evolute device. The leaflets are sitting higher in the anatomy, and therefore they are not restricted by any eccentricity of the left ventricular outflow. And finally, the self-expanding platform with a simple implant technique means that important paravalvular leak is increasingly very rare and often improves with time as the valve expands. It is certainly possible that other self-expanding valve platforms will have some of these properties, but none have shown the translation to clinical benefit that we see in the data discussed today and in such a well-conducted and rigorous study. Thank <laughs> you.